Paradise on Earth. Another episode of Hawk Talk coming to you from Lowell Park, the home of the Katuit Kettleers. Austin Akuta, Zach Berman here to recap the three to one INS Harbor Hawks loss. But Zach, a good, a good game all around for the Hawks. They did have 10 hits, just one runs, but a positive sign to see the bats kind of string a bunch of hits together, just couldn't push runs across the plate. You know, sometimes in baseball that just happens. You get all your ducks on a pond, or hawks on the pond in this case, and you can't bring them home. And it's always tough to see a nice streak come to a close, but tomorrow's a new day and you can start a new winning streak or win slash tie streak within 24 hours, but a tough pill to swallow, especially against your crosstown rivals. And another big positive of the night was Zach Volker, the right-handed pitcher from Long Beach State, came out of the bullpen through four shutout innings. He's our roll bump limited player of the game and he caught up with Bria Lossick after the loss. Alongside our roll bump player of the game, Zach Volker, who threw four scoreless innings, giving up only two hits and one walk and one strikeout today. Zach, what was working for you on the mound? Kind of just trying to execute each pitch and uh, command the fastball and get ahead early. So, yeah. Now, this is the first game that the Harbor Hawks have lost in nine contests. How do you guys mentally regroup for your contest against YD tomorrow? I mean, kind of just turn the page and keep doing what we've been doing. They're the best team in the league, so I mean, we, we feel like we outplayed them today and it just didn't fall our way, so I mean, turn the page and come back tomorrow. All right, thank you so much, Zach. You're welcome. From Low Park, I'm Bria Lossick, Harbor Hawks Baseball Network. Thank you very much, Bria. The Hawks are back in action tomorrow on Sunday at home against the YD Red Sox for the first time this season. We see YD, they're a pretty talented team, so a tough test awaits the Hawks. YD, first in the West, or excuse me, the East Division, and Hyannis yet to see them. They'll have them twice in 48 hours as they'll get them tomorrow night at home, 6 p.m. at Keehan Park, and then Monday for the 4th of July in Yarmouth. But should be a big crowd on hand tomorrow, 4th of July weekend, and make sure to get, get to the park early. Well, we'll be live on YouTube under Hyannis Harbor Hawks tomorrow at 6. For Zach Berman, I'm Austin Nakuda. Thank you for watching Hawk Talk.